two, one. Okay. Cause and effect, organizing and drafting by Team Umizumi. Hi, I'm Sarah. Hi, I'm McKenna. Hi, I'm Annalie. Hi, I'm Grace. And I'm Rebecca. So first we're going to examine the fishbone diagram. For cause and effect essay, you want your major categories followed by the causes of the problem for each major category and all of this will lead to the major effect. Here's a video furthering how each paragraph is organized. Okay, here's for the intro. The first sentence is your hook sentence, and this is what's going to draw the attention to your reader onto the topic. Um, the second sentence is going to be your background information, and it won't only be one sentence, but in this case it is. This sentence shows you that video games are played throughout the whole world. And then your last sentence will be your thesis statement. And it doesn't have to be the whole sentence. In this case, it is the last part of the sentence, but it is what you are trying to prove in your essay. So in your body paragraph, you're going to have first year effect, which for this paragraph, the effect of the isolation can lead to a breakdown of communication skills and often a loss of socialization. That is the effect. And then you will have your major ideas or problems and that would be the isolation and withdrawal from social experiences. And after that, you'll have your causes or the reasons for that. So video game players often hide in their homes or internet cafes for days at a time. Especially massive multiplayer online games involve a very real form of e-based communications. So they're not in-person social communications. So after your intro and your body paragraphs comes your conclusion. And the first sentence of your conclusion is going to be restating your thesis. Here, they restate the thesis into different words. You don't want it to be exactly the same. The next part of your conclusion is going to be a summary of all of the information you have in your essay. And then the last sentence is your concluding sentence. And this is going to wrap up the whole essay as a whole. All right, so drafting the steps. There's about five of them that you can follow for your cause and effect essay. The first one is the research and topic selection. You want to find a topic that interests you and do some research about it. Be sure to understand the causes and effects and how they relate to one another, and this will help guide your writing. The second one is to formulate a thesis of your findings. It should include a main cause and the main effect of your chosen topic. For example, if you choose the effect of video game addiction, your thesis could include the main cause, playing video games, and the main effect, the addiction. The third step is to organize your causes and effects in chronological order to maintain clarity. You can relate your examples using a causal chain if one cause resu results in an effect, which then becomes the cause of the next one and so on. And you can write your outline based off of how you relate your causes and effects. And then lastly, you can use this general outline to guide your writing as you begin to compose your rough draft. Continue researching and be sure to use facts, experts, opinion, and sources and don't forget about your audience while writing. Clearly connect your causes and effects to analyze their significance for the reader. Some tips for drafting. When you're making a draft of your essay, your main focus should be on clarity. You want to really prove that um, the main effect was directly caused by all of the causes that you list. You want to have strong examples and you want to use facts to support your claim. And you want to thoroughly explain all of these examples and facts. True or false? Number one, is it true that when you are drafting, your main focus should be clarity? Yes, this is true. Your main focus should be clarity. Number two, when using drafting steps, is it true that your outline should come before your rough draft? This is also true. Your outline should always come before your rough draft. Here's our bibliography, and thank you for watching.